Uh, hello, in today's uh, video we're going to show how to connect, if you have something like a trainer like this, that you want to connect over an Ethernet switch to a L16ER as well as a PanelView 800, uh, PanelView Micro 800. And the reason for this, if you get to see how it's hooked up, you you'll be able to see it out in the factory floor or something like that machines will be hooked up that way it's always an advantage to hook up your equipment in my mind over over network uh, not only do you have a single piece of equipment but in the future you'll have capability to look at it everywhere so let's let's get into the the uh, the program and the software um, so let's open up the software so first of all we've got our um, our Studio 5000, so let's enter for the PLC, and then the uh, connected components, uh, by the way, hello, the connected components software, uh, connected components workbench software for the PanelView 800. So first let's see if the Studio 5000 can find it. So we go to upload, and it's a lot, if any of you have used RS links, it's a lot, a lot like that. You'll see how it how it looks very similar um, so here we go we like I said it's through Ethernet so we've got our factory talk links um, and we're hooked up with a um, with an Ethernet cable uh, and for for ours here we have a USB to to Ethernet network adapter so uh, you might need one of those if you don't have Ethernet on your to hook up your Ethernet cable anyhow so let's see if it finds it. It looks like it has the 192.168 browsing, and it found it. It says it right here. It found. Um, so let's go ahead and, and click on it. Now keep in mind, it found the panel view too, but this software, Studio 5000, cannot open the panel view 800. So that's important to know if you start playing with it. So go to Upload, and we click Upload. So right now it should be, I clicked upload, it's opening a Studio 5000 Logics Designer. And this is a low, lower cost version of Studio 5000. There's different levels of, of the software. This is a, uh, this is a 300 some dollar version. So, and it's good if you're trying to learn how to train and you're getting started. So, uh, so here we go. We've got the, uh, we've got the processor it's got it uh, uh, it's got it let's go online we click let's go online so we just uh, we just went online we've got our um, we are live and let's see here in a second we'll go to our if it's not showing this let's see our main routine and we just went to our main routine so um, if when I show you the main routine in the software, it's right there. So in just, just a minute or so, we were able to go and get on our, our, uh, our device. So, which is, uh, which is pretty good for Alan Bradley. If you spent years with Alan Bradley, you'll understand that. Um, if you don't now, you will later. Uh, so let's go to connected components. We just opened our connected components. Now it hasn't found anything yet because we haven't had it do that yet. One moment. So let me uh, move it over here for you. So we've still got uh, the Logix 5000 or the Studio 5000 hooked up. So let's. This has the Micro 800. Has what we call. A, the panel view has something called the discover now um, when you click discover it's it's a lot like doing a RS again it's a lot like RS links and it says connection browser so let's see what it sees and it sees the panel view obviously that's the uh, it's looking for an old micro 8, 820 that was used and a an old uh, processor that had a different but it found the IP address of the current compact logics we're using and it found the panel view so we're using connected components workbench 
that's the software used for the panel view micro 800 and we're gonna we're gonna say okay so let's see if it fine let's see if it opens it up for you and right now the software it's calling it uh, it's it's found it and we want to say okay let's see what she does upload overwrites well we don't have nothing let's do it it says uploading it's uploading so let's see what she's doing it says uploading application succeeded so up here we have we have our device I just clicked on it um, this is the uh, the settings screen the main screen and you can see there's a address for the compact logics it's been set up already well, that's the address of the uh, compact logics that's in the case so the device it's it's very friendly software you can see it's got screens listed um, and here's our screen and and a little bit of it you'll see the addresses let's let's see this address the the uh, if you see the connections right tag is HMI 0 indicators HMI 0 so the the right tag is zero and then that now let's go to the um, so if we go to the panel view it's got the same it's got the same uh, configuration so so let's do this let's let's go to the software now we're live on this panel view and um, the the panel view itself if you see that if you see that HMI 0 I'm going to press the the HMI 0 here and we can watch it live remember the address name is the same the HMI 0 it's a bit on the that we've programmed it to be a bit in the ladder logic and I'm gonna press it here see how it turned green it turned green now because of input zero is normally closed the outputs already energized and which output this is is output zero it's a big fan right there so I'm gonna turn since it's normally closed when I switch that up it turns off the fan and you see it dropped that out and the output zero is off see that screen now I'm going so the only thing we're not going to use the switch anymore we're just going to use the panel view I'm going to press the HMI zero and I just pressed it on you can see how it's how I'm holding it in it's a momentary on and you can see the outputs on the, the output zero is on and my finger is on there so we see so you see how powerful this is we're in just minutes we've been able to in just minutes we've been able to use the use this trainer or something like it we've been able to go over a network switch we've been able to uh, uh, go into go into the uh, software log in and go into the software uh, we've been able to use our computer to uh, use an adapter. This is what you'll need here. If you have only a USB adapter, uh, you'll need to get something like this uh, to go from USB to Ethernet. So there's some very basic needs. Uh, it takes a, it looks, I'm making it look simpler than it, than it may or may not be for you. But uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to to, uh, to contact me, it's uh, uh, plctrainerfolks.com. Happy to answer your questions, and uh, we can go from there. So I want you to have a very good day. Bye-bye.